हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज मैंग्रोव एंड मिश्टी स्कीम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट आर मैंग्रोव कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मैंग्रोव एडेप्टेशन बाय मैंग्रोव स्टेटस इन वर्ल्ड एंड इंडिया बेनिफिट्स ऑफ मैंग्रोव एंड थ्रेड्स टू मैंग्रोव एंड लास्टली मिस्टी स्कीम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट आर मैंग्रोव मैंग्रोव आर डिफाइंड एज असेंबलेज ऑफ सॉल्ट टॉलरेंट ट्रीज एंड श्रब्स they grow in the intertidal regions of the tropical and subtropical coast lines they grow luxuriantly in the places where fresh water mixes with sea water and where sediment is composed of accumulated deposits of mud mangrove wetlands are normally classified into six types on the basis of the geophysical geomorphological and biological factors they are river dominated tide dominated wave dominated composite river and wave dominated droned bedrock valley mangroves and mangroves in carbonate settings the first five types of mangrove wetlands can be seen on coast dominated by terrigenous sediments the last one can be seen in oceanic islands coral reefs and carbonate banks now moving on to characteristics of mangroves they are basically evergreen land plants growing on sheltered shores typically on tidal flats deltas estuaries bays creeks and the barrier islands their physiological adaptation to salinity stress and to water logged anaerobic mud is high they require high solar radiation and can absorb fresh water from saline or brackish water it produces nematophores blind roots to overcome respiration problem in the anaerobic soil conditions some species example rhizophora send arcing prop roots down into the water while other example avicennia send vertical nematophores or air roots up from the mud leaves are thick and contain salt secreting glands now let's discuss about adaptation by mangroves mangrove environment is highly dynamic and harsh and mangrove species are variously adapted to cope with these conditions breathing roots underground tissue of any plant requires oxygen for respiration and in mangrove environment oxygen in soil is very limited or nil this necessitates mangrove root system to take up oxygen from the atmosphere for this purpose mangrove species have specialized above ground roots called breathing roots or nematophores these roots have numerous pores through which oxygen enters the underground tissues in some plants buttress roots function as breathing roots and provide mechanical support to the tree stilt roots in some mangrove species roots diverge from stems and branches and penetrate the soil some distance away from the main stem as in the case of banyan trees because of their appearance and because they provide the main physical support to these they are called as stilt roots these roots also have many pores through which atmospheric oxygen enters the roots viviparity saline water unconsolidated saline soil with little or no oxygen is not a conducive environment for seeds to germinate and establish to overcome this mangrove species have unique way of reproduction which is generally known as viviparity in this method of reproduction seeds germinate and develop into seedlings while the seeds are still attached to the parent tree these seedlings are normally called as propagules and they photosynthesize while still attached to the mother tree now moving on to status of mangroves in world and india in 2022 an updated view of the distribution of mangrove forest was released in the global mangrove watch that is gmw version 3.0 the most extensive area of mangroves is found in southeast asia with indonesia alone comprising one fifth of the global total together indonesia brazil australia mexico and nigeria host almost half of the world's mangroves according to india state of forest report 2021 The mangrove cover in India is 4992 square kilometer which is 0.15% of the country's total geographical area. Increase in the mangrove cover as compared to 2019 assessment is 17 square kilometers. The states that show significant gain in mangrove cover are Odisha and Maharashtra. Sundarbans located in the northern bay of Bengal is the world's largest single patch of mangrove forest. It is spread over approximately 10,000 square kilometers in Bangladesh and India. 
Sundarbans is the first mangrove forest in the world which was brought under scientific management as early as in 1892. Now let's have a look at the benefits of mangroves. Mangrove wetland is a multiple use ecosystem. It is considered as a best form of coastal bioshield since it plays a critical role in reducing the impact of cyclonic storms, hurricanes and tsunami on human lives and properties. Their dense roots help bind and build soils. Their above ground roots slow down water flows and encourage sediment deposits that reduce coastal erosion. The complex mangrove root systems filter nitrates, phosphates and other pollutants from the water, improving the water quality. It enhances fishery productivity of the adjacent coastal waters by acting as a nursery ground for commercially important fish, prawn and crabs. Mangrove forest also provides habitat and refuge to a wide array of wildlife such as birds, fish, invertebrates, mammals and plants. It provides numerous employment opportunities to local communities and augments their livelihood. Mangrove forest capture massive amounts of carbon dioxide emissions. Threats to mangroves. Unfortunately, there are many challenges that place mangrove forest under threat. An estimated 67% of historical mangrove habitat has been lost or degraded worldwide, with 20% occurring since 1980. One of the biggest threats to mangrove is the tourism industry. When mangrove forests are cleared and destroyed, they release massive amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. Urbanization, agriculture, oil pollution, cutting of mangroves, sand and iron ore mining are some man-made threats to mangroves. Floods, cyclones, overgrazing, poor natural regeneration, biofouling, Effects of climate change and change in carbon dioxide are some natural threats. Now lastly, let's discuss about Mishti scheme. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman's budget 2023-24 speech introduced schemes and policies aimed at ecological conservation. This is part of a larger green push with focus on the environment and climate change. MISHTI, that is Mangrove Initiative for Shoreline Habitats and Tangible Incomes, is a new program that will facilitate mangrove plantation along India's coastline and on salt pan lands. The program will operate through convergence between Manrega, Kampa Fund and other sources. This new program will aim at intensive afforestation of coastal mangrove forest. India has such forest on both its eastern and western coast, with the Sundarbans in Bengal being one of the largest mangrove forest. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, note down the prelims-based question. This question was asked in 2011 exam also. The 2004 tsunami made people realize that mangroves can serve as a reliable safety hedge against coastal calamities. How do mangroves function as a safety hedge? The mangrove swamps separate the human settlements from the sea by a wide zone in which people neither live nor venture out. The mangroves provide both food and medicines which people need after any natural disaster. The mangrove trees are tall with dense canopies and serve as an excellent shelter during a cyclone or tsunami. The mangrove trees do not get uprooted by storms and tides because of their extensive roots. You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. Now moving on to the main question. This question has been asked in 2019 exam also. Discuss the causes of depletion of mangroves and explain their importance in maintaining coastal ecology. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.